Welcome to our solvent extraction video. In this video I will demonstrate how to use a separatory funnel to separate two immiscible solvents. First thing is to clamp the separatory funnel firmly into a retort stand and make sure that the tap at the bottom is closed in order not to lose any solvent. You might want to use a funnel in order to fill the separatory funnel and we are going to add first our organic phase secondly we add our aqueous phase which we are going to use for the extraction of any solute that we don't want to have in our organic phase here you can see the two layers separated by the interface After you have removed the funnel, stopper the separatory funnel and hold the stopper firmly in place while you turn over. As you could hear, some pressure has built up that needs to be vented. Again, as you could hear, the same happened after you shook the solution. After you vented it the last time and swirled it a little bit to aid the phase separation, you would clamp it again in the retort stand and importantly remove the stopper otherwise some more pressure will build up and force the solution to run out at the sides. The phase separation takes some time. You have to be patient until you cannot see any separation taking place anymore. This process will take a little bit depending on the nature of your solute and the solvents. Now we run out the lower layer Do that carefully towards the end of the process and stop it in time before the upper phase arrives. In order to remove all impurities we might want to wash the organic phase a second time. So we add some more of our aqueous phase and repeat the whole process of stoppering the separatory funnel, venting it, shaking it venting it in the process and clamping it back to the retort stand again and again making sure that after we clamped it we remove the stop at the top to avoid pressure. So after the phases have separated you might be facing the question which one is the organic and which one is the aqueous phase. A simple way to test it is to add a little bit of the aqueous phase at the top and watch whether it is running through the top layer or whether it's been collected in the top layer. As you could see in this example it was running through, so the aqueous phase in this example was the bottom layer. Please be aware that it might not be in any case an aqueous phase and an organic phase, it could also be two immiscible organic phases. In any way you have two phases of which you want to keep one now and the other one you want to discard. Not just discard yet, just keep it in a conical flask until you are sure that what you want to collect is in the other phase. So after you have separated the phases, you will ultimately collect the organic phase that contains your desired solutes in a conical flask. And all that remains now is to remove residual water. Drying is achieved with anhydrous magnesium sulfate, which has the property of attracting molecules of water so it will remove any residual water in your organic phase. So after we've added a portion of magnesium sulfate we swill the solution. In case you will be left with chunks of magnesium sulfate you will need to add some more. However if you have a flaky suspension of magnesium sulfate as in this example you have effectively dried your solution and all that remains is to separate the solid from the liquid which is achieved by a standard filtration. There are two ways you can do this. One option would be to do it under vacuum filtration, the other one to do it under atmospheric pressure. The first one will be a vacuum filtration, so you would be connecting the vacuum tubing, closing the white tap and before you open the vacuum through the grey tap you have to put on the filter. We are going to be using a Hirsch funnel and a small filter paper. 
we put that into the Hirsch funnel and the whole funnel on top of the Büchner flask. So at that point you would be switching on the vacuum, which is the grey tap, turn that on fully. And then take your suspension, you might want to shake it up a little bit. In this way the filter gets quickly weighed down by the magnesium sulphate. When you do the filtration, make sure that none of the liquid or the foam above the liquid gets sucked into the vacuum tubing. So filter it in, filter it in a couple of portions until all the suspension is through. Once you have done that, you will be ending up with a solution in the Büchner flask and your magnesium sulfate in the Hirsch funnel. Also, you can plug the outlet of a standard funnel with some cotton wool and use that to filter your solution into a standard conical flask. This whole process affords also a yellow solution. However, the whole process is much, much slower and it is sped up in this video. To summarize, in this solvent extraction part of that experiment, you use the differential solvating power of two inmissile solvents to extract and purify a solute and you ended up after filtration with a clear dry solution of your solute in an organic solvent.